It's a gorgeous house. It's got everything we're looking for. There is something I need to disclose to you guys about this property. The house may be haunted. There are times that I will be here by myself. I feel pressure on my chest. Is somebody talking out here? Yeah, it's yeah, like it's really right, cold right, 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 right here. If we put in an offer and she accepts it, we don't know what's going on inside. What are we getting into? It. Something comes right to the microphone and speaks. I know what I heard. Would it be safe for a new family to move into this house? I've been driving past this house for years now, and when it did come up on the market, I was really excited about it. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? The house was first built in 1910 by the original doctor in Creedmoor. He lived here until he passed. I bought the house in uh, December of 09 as an investment. This is a hidden gem in this area. If you're looking for something like this in Raleigh, it would maybe cost half a million dollars. It doesn't happen very often that I own a house that I, I list and then I f also find the buyer for it. Tell me what you like most about this room. Oh, the size, for one thing. Okay. Perfect place for a Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. There you go. <laughs> Walking into the foyer, I was just like, wow. So The foyer in this house is pretty daggone amazing. Right now, we're living separately, and the decision to yeah. live together is a sign of commitment for our relationship. We want to entertain more. Right. right. And right now, we just don't have the area for Space. that. So when we come into this room and we look at this room, it's the first thing you think of. Are... <laughs> we wanted some things that we don't have now, like a dining room. Right. A larger living room. I like that. <laughs> and the nice thing about this house is that it has three bedrooms plus a study. We love the fact that new homes are new, but you don't find the character that this right. house, especially this room, has. Where I'm living now, I actually have a dining area, mm -hmm. and this is actually a separate dining room, which I really, really, really love. Mm -hmm. Sure. So now we're going to go upstairs to the master bedroom, guys. Love the size. Yes. Yeah. Um, we would switch this all up. But uh, we do love this room. Yeah, it's nice got uh, two closets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just another Could be project. a nursery. Oh. True, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you buy an old house, you're buying history. You know, you're buying the history of the building itself, but you're certainly buying the history of the people who lived in the house, too. In North Carolina, there is no legal requirement for an owner or a listing agent to disclose a rumored haunting to a potential buyer. In the case of Cindy and Todd, I've been very honest about the spiritual activity I've experienced. I've been brushed. I've heard some walking, you know, in the master bedroom. And there have been a few cold spots, mostly in the study. Have you ever had a situation like this before? Because I'm, I'm perfectly OK with sure. whatever. Yep. But Cindy I'm here, more curious and concerned because, I mean, there are times that I will be here by myself. I'd be more at ease the more I know. Uh, what type of haunting we're talking about. There have been a few other occasions where there has been some suspected activity, and so we did an investigation. So we will call the team I know and find out what's going on. We're here tonight to perform an investigation of this house. Private residences are probably our bread and butter. We've done everything from 17th century prisons up to very recently built homes. The first thing we'll do is go in and talk to Rob. He can kind of show us the hot spots of um, the activity that has happened so far. I will say that I feel something by the bed almost every night. I don't necessarily see things, you know, but this was the image of a youngish man and, and he was missing the left side of his face. Has anybody ever died in this room, do you know, or? I don't know that. 
We weren't, we weren't able to find any death records uh, that anyone actually died in the home, no. We used infrared cameras. We use handheld digital voice recorders for capturing the EVP or electronic voice phenomenon. You cannot hear an EVP with your ear. Only the recorder will pick up the disembodied voice. We also use EMF detectors to measure the electromagnetic field in a house. We can actually find the base reading of the home. So anything that is spiked higher than that could be a sign of something paranormal occurring. The investigation's getting ready to start, and we're going to be at Command Central to watch the cameras and see the uh, evidence as it's being collected. So, Ron, uh, where all do we have the camera set up now? Channel 1, 4, and 5 is covering the entire foyer, and Channel 7 is covering the dining room. And Channel 6 is covering the study. Channel 2 and 3 is covering the entire mask bedroom. I think we'll start with Bridget and I in the master bedroom, because that's where it seems to be the most prevalent activity. Is there anyone in here who would like to communicate with us? If you'd like to talk with me right now, you can come close to my hand and make this meter spike. You want to make it spike once for yes and twice for no. Bridget, did you hear? Is there some talking yet? Hey, were you guys talking at all? Uh, Ron was. It wouldn't have been loud enough for you guys to hear. Was somebody talking out here? The decision to live together is a sign of commitment for our relationship. You don't find the character that this house has. I've been very honest about the spiritual activity I've experienced. So we will call the team I know and find out what's going on. Did you hear the voice? Yes, I did. It sounded like a conversation. Is somebody talking out here? Are you hiding in here? It sounded like two people talking. Two people talking, that's exactly what I heard. Give me the flashlight. I don't think he was speaking, no. Alrighty. I mean, even if the window were open here with that door closed, right. you're not going to hear it like I heard it. I don't know. We'll just see. Interesting, yeah. See if we caught anything. They didn't get it on audio? No, it's on the I know I heard something. So it's yeah. On We're definitely considering buying the house, um, but we'd like to wait till after investigation, see what's found, and make a decision. Richard, who is the production assistant with the camera crew here, uh, actually had quite an experience upstairs in the study. exactly happened that, that spooked you up here? I guess I started hearing like a little little rustle or something over here. So, you know, I paused because it's late and, you know, I 
the nature of, of what of what we've been doing tonight. So mm-hmm. I was about to close the computer, and then all of a sudden, like it was it it was extremely audible. Like it was clear as a bell. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a woman's voice, and it was a whisper, and it was like right in this vicinity. I just jumped up and went downstairs. So you heard like right in your ear. Yeah, a whisper. It wasn't like a specific SH sound or anything like that. You couldn't quite make out what it said. It's technically not EVP because you heard it. It's still a paranormal disembodied voice. Like, I don't scare very easily. Uh, I'm not, you know, I, I don't get really freaked out about stuff like that. Uh, but I, I can't even tell you what kind of sound it was. Did it like, sound like a human? Yeah, it sounded like a woman. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> I'm sorry. We saw some things that may or may not could be paranoid. I mean, who knows? But we'll come back tomorrow and see what they found. We've had plenty of time to go over all the evidence. I'll start by telling you some of the things that we had happened personally. I think the most startling personal experience of the night happened to not one of us, but to one of the camera crew. I'm sorry. Uh, He was upstairs in the study. Uh He really looked kind of terrified. (laughs) Last night, Cindy mentioned that she felt something touch her. We were watching the monitor. And um, it really just felt like something was rubbing. And he said, oh, it was probably a bug. Well, Rob did mention that he had been touched. Yeah, it was a real light touch. Maybe. And, mm-hmm. I mean, it really felt like two fingers. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even evasive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, well, at uh, least it's friendly. Hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you this. This is the study as well upstairs. Here's what we picked up. We're definitely considering buying the house. We'd like to wait till after investigation, make a decision. I mean, there are times that I will be here by myself. Is somebody talking out here? Here's what we picked up. Well, I mean, you can definitely tell that someone or something said something but it sounds like something comes right to the microphone and speaks so i'm as certain as i possibly can be that that is an evp wow (laughs) it sounds like after all out of the room that was pretty distinct for me i know what i heard i definitely think it was an attempt to vocalize, but I, I'm hesitant to say what I thought it said. So Everyone that was, thinks that's it's what a you voice. were saying. It's a yeah. voice, but mm-hmm. not really all it's label voice. what it's saying. Right. You have something going on here, but uh, I'm not comfortable with saying you have a full fledged haunting and a permanent resident here. It's nothing definitive, but we had no indication last night whatsoever that anything meant any harm. So uh, hopefully that'll help you a little bit in your decision here. Well, for sure. Um... All three bedrooms up there are going to, they're going to be bedrooms. Mm-hmm. We'll just have to make sure that that's the one we let your mother speak. <laughs> well, I think, I think there's a lot of pluses to this. I mean, it has everything that we've been looking for. I guess I just wanted to kind of know how you felt about it. I'm not scared mm-hmm. of what they showed me. I mean, I'm not worried. I, uh, when I told you this morning I was going to the gym, mm-hmm. I I actually came by here and I saw Rob and I bought the house. You can't. (laughs) It's going to be our home. Really? Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was inconclusive. Inconclusive. Right. Okay. <laughs> but your mama can still sing. In that room. Okay, <laughs> My hair is standing up. I think oh. they're here. Are you okay with that? Um, <laughs> I think he really wants this out. <laughs> <laughs> you think?